I'm going to do some musky fishing this morning and I'm going to use a bass bait to musky fish with. So I'm going to take this cheddar bait, the biggest one I could find at the store, it's a half ounce, and I'm going to put a power bait on it with a trailer hook. This is a 5 up mustad hook. I wanted to use actual trailer hooks but I couldn't find any at the store. Actual trailer hooks have that little piece of plastic to hold it in place on the back of a spinner bait. I'm going to use the actual plastic bait as the piece to hold it on by making sure the eye is within the plastic. I got some sinkers too, just to make it a little bit heavier for casting. I know they make bigger chatter baits, but most stores only carry sizes like this. Make sure this goes on here. I'm going to have to push this barb down for this to work. There we go. There we go, gives it a larger profile. If I was a muskie, I would eat this. There we go, and I got it on my swim bait combo. Extra heavy guide select swim bait stick from Akuma and a Sick Turks 350. That looks pretty good. What are you throwing? And this is Cody, and he's throwing a shallow invader. It's a pretty big bait, about tripled the size of mine. It's about 30 degrees here, so I'm going to put gloves back on. I totally should have brought my polarized glasses. I mean, that looks really good. I'm hoping this is coming out on the camera. Got something. That was pretty quick. I don't know. Oh wow. Now that is a nice bass. <laughs> That's a new personal best bass right there. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> you don't have a scale, do you? That is a nice bass. He's nice and thick. Look at that. 17 inches. 17 inch largemouth. I don't know if this is a tarp. I'm going to have to look it up. Now I'm going to let him go. That is a good start if we were doing a bass tournament. <laughs> that was a carp. That muskie I caught with Billy was right over there. Like I had thrown kind of towards the doors. Yeah, yeah, it was on live bait. It had one eye too, it was kind of beat up. Switched to a bulldog. That's pretty big bait.
Oh, the fog on the water. Yeah. Want to go top water even with the weight on it. Oh, there's no weight on it anymore. I'm gonna put a weight back on this. I don't know if the bass took the weight off or what. My weight has fallen off. I'm gonna put another one on here. Put the weight back on here. As you can see, the weight doesn't fit on here too well. It would have been better to get like a one ounce chatterbait instead of adding a weight to this one. But they didn't have any one ounce at the store. They usually only sell bass baits. And they caught a bass. That's pretty good. Uh, hopefully we're a uh, kid of musky or striper or another bass. Really any fish is fine. Although I'd love to get a musky on this. You know, my sonar calendar says today's a terrible day to fish. This is the sold in our calendar I was talking about. It says 15%, it's a poor day to fish. Although that giant bass decided to eat anyway. We're at the 8.30 mark and it says pretty much a 0%. But I'll keep fishing, see if I can get something. My sinker fell off again. Well, I'm not going to continue to leave sinkers. Seems to be working fine as is. They call musky the fish of 10,000 casts. I only have 9,900 more casts to go. Okay, we've gone downstream a little bit, trying a new area. A lot of wood around here, and muskies like hanging around wood. So do flatheads, so do bass. Maybe we'll get another fish on the boat today. It's a nice looking weed line right here. This is musky heaven, with it being this shallow. Oh, got a stick here. Oh. <laughs> and that's why you want aluminum boats, especially on the river. There's definitely a lot of wood in the water. What are you using now? Super Stalker. That's a smaller bait. It's got the profile of mine. And we moved a little bit more. We're actually fishing somebody's blown out dock. I got washed out and washed down the river here. This only happened a couple of years ago. You know, I bet the fish along the line there, I bet there's a Room underwater there for something to hide. Well, I guess there's nothing under the dock. It's definitely the fish of 10,000 casts. I think I've already said that. Haven't had any real follows either. It's been a slow day for musky. There's a buck on the side of the bank here. Two or three years old, I'd say. How many points is that? I can't see. It's got to be a six point buck. Poor guy. I think he's stuck. Things you see on the side of the waterways. Poor guy. 
here you get up off the bank eventually. At least it looks like some good wood to fish here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Hung up on first cast after seeing that buck. Oh, there we go. I got it off. That's a big bait. I see him. Is he going to grab it? Oh, I don't see him following anymore. Well, that was the first muskie follow of the day. Hey, ducks. we got some ducks following us now. Right after that muskie follow, these two guys do not know what's in the water. Well, we're on the last few casts before we uh, pull up the trolling motor and head back to the ramp. So leave me a comment, guys, what you think about my bass bait that I'm trying to use to catch muskie. It did catch that big bass. I consider that a partial success. I haven't had any muskies follow it. I'm still gonna continue to muskie fish. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll have more muskie fun in the future and hopefully land an actual fish. The reason I'm muskie fishing, I wanna get that last tarp so I can get master angler level two, which is only 40 inches when it comes to muskie. And the muskie in these waters around here, they're big. Thanks for watching.